Hey, it's Corey here, the parish missionary. I'm here to talk to you about prayer ministry. And I want to talk to you about um, specifically, it's like I'm going to go into depth of, of what prayer ministry looks like and what it's going to be. And then I have a demonstration at the end. But this specific part, I actually want to share a story about um, a friend of mine who she became a friend after this, but um, that she had been, her and her husband had been trying to have a child for eight years biologically. They had, they adopted somebody, but Wait, not somebody. They adopted a child, and uh, but they still wanted to have a biological child. And um, I so happened to be uh, at a healing service that they were at, um, and uh, it was a healing service that my own pastor had, not my own pastor, my own spiritual director had been putting on. And I was on the the prayer line, and uh, she happened to uh, have some time. She was a prayer, or she was the worship leader, and she had some time to come and receive prayer and so she came and asked and so I went through what we'll go through I mean what, I'll, what I explain later um, said hello how can I pray for you and she explained her um, her dilemma and what's going on and so um, my buddy and I we were like okay let's pray and so when we prayed she actually could feel things moving and happening in her body um, which happens sometimes when we pray and, and expect the Lord to move is Sometimes, like the Lord will actually move. <laughs> like it's uh, it's fun because it's it's like I'm experiencing what Jesus Himself experienced while He was in the Gospels, or or what the kind of the the Church of Acts experienced that has they as they would go about and see people healed miraculously. Um, anyway, so she felt that, and then I didn't hear back from her. I just kind of you know we just kind of went our separate ways, and and then. Um, uh, it was about a year or two later. Um, I, had, I, had, she had a uh, ex. Um, she had reached out because I had, I had asked to, um, I had asked for people if anyone need, needed prayers for something, something, and she had reached out and was, and was like, I don't know if you remember me, and then, but then she explained that she was able to have a biological child, and that, um, she, uh, now she's had, she's had another one, so she's had two biological children at the very least. I don't know if she's had more since I've talked to her. I haven't talked to her in a couple of years, but. Um, but regardless, she now has two biological children that would not have, would not like, I it's like, would not be in this world if she hadn't been persistent and um, like coming and continue to come to prayer, prayer ministry, uh, because she's she's had different people pray for her and pray with her for eight years, and that's a long time to be to be waiting for a promise that the Lord um, has given us as to be fruitful and multiply. Um, and so she saw breakthrough after eight years, and now, she, now now there are two humans being on earth. There are two actual lives that the Lord gets to love, and hopefully love for eternity, um, as they choose Him and and are and are drawn back to Him. And uh, it, it's been a precious thing to uh, to be able to be a part of something like that. And it, it's very honored and very humbling when that happens. Um, but next, I'm going to be sharing with you about what or what to look for in prayer ministry. Um, I'll, be, I'll be in the back of Mass after the 9 o'clock Mass, and uh, you can come up and we'll introduce ourselves. And um, I'm just going to ask you, how can I pray for you? And you can go into as much detail as you want, or as little as detail as you want. But ultimately, I just want to know, kind of, I might ask you some clarifying questions, and um, just to kind of get to a point of like, hey, do you want just prayer for comfort, or prayer for encouragement, or something along those lines? Um, and I would love for... I would love to pray for you for any of that, or even physical healing or um, things of those nature of that nature. Um, and then we'll get into prayer. I'll ask if I can place my hand on you, and you can say yes or no. I'm I'm not going to be offended either way. And uh, and we'll get into prayer. And um, after the prayer is done, it might be thirty seconds, it might be a minute, it might be longer than that. Who knows? But we'll keep it quick. Regardless, um, quick and powerful. <laughs> Regardless. Uh, I'll ask you how you are afterwards, and um, at this point, just uh, just tell me like how how are you doing, and you don't have to you don't like you can be completely honest and just like I don't feel any different. I'm like okay, I'm sorry that happened, and we can pray again um, if you would like. I might ask you I might ask you that, but if not, um, we can move on with our day, and uh, and we'll move on, and then I can go to the next person. So regardless, it's very quick. Um, the demonstration you'll see in a little bit is very quick, and uh, and you don't have to very be you don't have to stay very long. But regardless, like you can like for those that come and see me, 
and I'm praying with somebody or talking with somebody, just, I mean, you can come and stand in line and, um, and I'm willing to wait there for as long as I need to and pray with people for as long as I need to, too. Um, and then uh, I, and you could pull me aside any time, too. It doesn't have to be after Mass um, and that specific moment. I'm just there um, that day for that specific purpose. I hope that's, that clears it up. Here's a quick demonstration of uh, prayer ministry um, with Macy and I. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm Corey, by the way. I'm Macy. Nice to meet you. How can I pray for you? Well, I am applying for grad schools, and I'm just getting very anxious about it um, because I'm hearing back from some. Um, I haven't heard anything about like any final decisions, mm -hmm. but I'm just very anxious in this waiting period um, because you know I know that I'm going to have to make mm -hmm. a decision on where I want to end up um, for grad school, and that just makes me. Very anxious. I'm just very nervous. Okay. Okay. So you just want me to pray for like peace? Yeah, mm -hmm. peace, maybe clarity as well. Okay. Okay. Do you mind if I place my hand on your shoulder? Okay. okay. So, in the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for who you are. We thank you that you are worthy of our praise and uh, you're worthy of our lives. And so, I just thank you for Macy. I thank you for. Um, her step of faith and uh, that she's going going after what she feels called to do. Um, so Lord, I ask that you come and bring peace and clarity in her mind and, and in her life. Um, and I thank you that um, that you'll show her the way in whatever whatever aspect that uh, whatever aspect that you want her to go to, um, whichever place that she's um, that you've decided. So Lord, I ask you to make it abundantly clear. And I ask the Holy Spirit to come as a comforter and as peace to come upon her. Right now, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I hope that's uh, clear. And if it's not, then <laughs> come come and ask me some questions, and uh, that'll be great. But I hope you have a great day. God bless.